Hey everyone, so I have another Friends character profile and I'm going to be talking about Ross Geller and I absolutely love Ross Geller, I just want to make that clear. Everybody has their favourite male character in Friends, whether it's Chandler, Joey or Ross. Now I, I love Chandler, I love Joey, but I love Ross. I think the main reason for that is I am most like Ross. Um, I might not want to admit that because not everybody would like to be like Ross. But I have to admit it, because it's the truth, I am most like Ross. I share most per personality traits with Ross. But there is something Ross does that annoys me, which I will talk about in a couple of minutes. But yeah, Ross is a big geek. Of course he is. I am a big geek. I completely am. I can't deny the fact. Um, he loves dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs. I'd love to actually go and like learn about dinosaurs properly. But the only books I can find are like kiddies books. And it's like, well, I kind of know what a triceratops looks like. I'm not that dumb. And he's just a really academic person, he's very, he likes the, the one quote where he says he wants to um, kick back with the puzzle. I am not a party animal. Okay, I'd rather go to like an awards ceremony than sit with the puzzle. But instead of getting absolutely drunk on a Saturday night, I'd rather do a puzzle at home because I just don't like drinking it. I just don't like drinking. So I, I kind of share that kind of st st that thing with Ross, if you like. But what he does that annoys me is the fact that he is a bit of a hypocrite. Like he says things to Rachel, the whole Rachel and Ross thing I absolutely adore. I mentioned that in my Rachel um my Rachel video. I love the whole Rachel and Ross thing, but when they were they were on a break thing, Rachel is right. I completely support Rachel. Ross says certain stuff that's annoying, like he, he he moans at Rachel, he shouts at Rachel for doing things. But he does the exact same thing. He's very grippy, like when he sent the love bug to the desk because he was scared that Gavin was gonna take Rachel. Um, and the, you had the quartet, and I, I love the song for the quartet, I'm not going to sing it, but I really do love the quartet song. He's grippy, he is a hypocrite at times, but bless him, he's adorable, he really is. He's got some great storylines, obviously the whole thing with Ben. I love the fact that he had a kid throughout the entire thing, because he was really the only one with a child through the majority of it. Obviously Rachel had Emma towards the end of the last few seasons, and um, Monica and Chandler got their kid in the last episode. So Ross had Ben from day one, basically, kind of, well, day two really, or at least when he was born. We knew of Ben from day two, so that's really nice as well. It's great that there was a father figure in the show. The fact that he lived in his own apartment most of the time as well meant that he seemed a little bit more grown up than the others. I mean, he is probably the oldest along with Chandler, I think. I'm not sure, certain of Phoebe's age, I'm not sure if it's ever, well, we, we know their ages, but I can't put them in scale. Um. But yeah, so he is one of the oldest. The one where he plays the bagpipes. Oh, I sit like that. I'm like, that is awful. Um, I wish he wouldn't play the bagpipes. But it's a really funny episode. Ross's humour is different. Whereas, where like Chandler's humour is direct. You know exactly that he's saying it is funny. You can see the comedic side of it. It is a joke. The things Ross does, like, where he gets the fake tan and that, and he's like a number 8 or 16 or whatever it is, where he's like really dark and then really white. That is hysterical, but that is not Ross trying to be funny. And I like the fact that it's sort of subconscious humour for Ross. The things he does is hysterical for us, but for him it's not so much. Um, yeah, I do think he's fantastic. And where he's dressed as um, Spudnik, or, um, that's great. Now, as far as all of, the, all of his relationships go, he has been married a lot. My favourite, as I've said, is Rachel. Ross and Rachel belong together forever. Ross and Emily... Um, I don't know what I think about Ross and Emily because of the fact that Emily kind of bridged bridged a gap between Ross and Rachel annoys me but I absolutely adore Helen Baxendale. I loved having Emily in the seasons and I think she's a fantastic character and brought so much. Ross and Emily were a really great couple and if Rachel wasn't there I think they would have really, you know, done really well together. Um, Ross and Mona was a sort of I didn't really like that at all. No. I definitely, definitely didn't like Ross and Mona. Um, Ross and Julie? No. I didn't like Julie either. Um, who else is there? There's loads and loads of them. When Ross and Rachel got married, um, when Ross and Rachel got married in Vegas, I was like, just stay married. Please just stay married. But of course they didn't. So that was not a very good thing. If I could go on and on about all of Ross's relationships, because there were so many of them. But for me, the key one will always be Ross and Rachel. Always, always, always. And I'm pretty sure you agree because every, fa every fan friends, every friends fan basically thinks Ross and Rachel are perfect for each other. And they are. Um, but there we go. So that's just a sort of brief overview of Ross. He is an absolutely fantastic character. Love him to bits. 
cannot think of a better actor to play him than David Schwimmer. Yes, we've had 10 years of Schwimmer playing Ross, so it would be weird for somebody else, but I just can't think of another actor. Like, there are other actresses who could possibly have played Rachel. Um, I think Reese, Reese Witherspoon would have been quite good for that role. But as far as Ross goes, I just cannot think of another actor who would be any good. John Cryer, maybe, I'm not sure. But he is a very unique character and a very brilliant actor. But please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know which character you would like me to talk about next. Monica, Phoebe, Chandler or Joey. Um, but that's it for now, so I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!